Welcome to my SU News Channel. Meghan Markle wears anti-stress patch while Prince Harry is away in Asia. She's trying to keep calm and carry on. Meghan Markle was spotted wearing an anti-stress patch on her wrist as the mother of two spends some time without the help of her husband, Prince Harry. The Duchess of Sussex, 42, was photographed on a makeup-free stroll Thursday in Montecito, California, while the Duke of Sussex, 38, is on a work trip in Asia. She noticeably accessorized her camel-colored $1,625 Max Mara Rispoli coat and blue antenne printed $1,225 Cashmere Hermes Rayers Deet Shawl with a dark blue Nucom biosignal processing disc. The calming device activates the parasympathetic nervous system so that its user can have a rapid return to a functional state, motor skills, attention, and full cognition, with no lingering effects or mental lethargy, according to the product's website. A pack of 20 discs costs $80 while a set of 100 discs retails for $400. It's unknown whether Markle feels she is going through a particularly high-stress time and her rep did not immediately return page 6 request for comment. A source tells us, though, that Newcom is incredible and has nothing necessarily to do with stress. However, the suits alum does have her hands full with two young kids, while Harry is away overseas. The couple shares a four-year-old son, Prince Archie, and two-year-old daughter, Princess Lilibet. There have also been rumblings that the Sussexes were going through marital issues recently. However, sources close to the pair told Page Six exclusively in July that any speculation of a looming breakup is false, and those stories are literally made up. Markle and Harry have also had some turmoil with their business endeavors, as they famously parted ways with Spotify in June following a $20 million deal with the streaming giant. An insider previously told The Post that execs thought the couple didn't produce enough content to receive their full multi-million dollar payout. However, Markle, Harry and Spotify released a joint statement at the time that claimed the end of the partnership was mutually agreed upon by all parties involved. A day after it was announced that the deal had been terminated, Spotify's head of global sports strategy, Bill Simmons, called the Sussexes lazy and f king grifters. I wish I had been involved in the Meghan and Harry leave Spotify negotiation he said during an episode of the Bill Simmons podcast at the time. Markle was seen looking somber shortly after. The former Deal or No Deal model has been honest in the past about her struggles with mental health. In her bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey in March 2021, the Archwell co-founder disclosed she had suicidal thoughts while working as a senior member of the royal family. I just didn't want to be alive anymore, the emotional duchess confessed at the time. I would sit up at night, and I was just like, I don't understand how all of this is being churned out. Markle also opened up about her mental health issues at a gala in New York City in December 2022. We all need to, when we can, if we feel brave enough, to just speak honestly about your own experience, told the crowd at the Ripple of Hope Awards. Source, page6.com. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.